and we are live. Hi, everyone. Oh my gosh, we are so, so, so excited to be here. Miriam and I are both here to create an amazing game with you guys. This is our first live game jam on YouTube. We are very, very excited. And today we're going to be working with our Match Mania template to create a full science game all about the periodic table and the elements, what they're in, what their atomic numbers are, and stuff like that. So we are super duper excited to get started. And all you have to do is go to Breshna.io so that you can start making your own games. If you want to just watch and hang out with us the first time, then you can do that. If you want to actually make the game in real time with us, you are absolutely welcome to do that as well. Super duper excited. So when we do educational games, there's kind of like four different themes that teachers can kind of use this as. One, you could use it as an actual lesson to teach your kids things. You could use it as in-game or in-class practice as you guys kind of work through things. There's also a lot of opportunity for you to put in like check chapter nine or page whatever so that they can review. You can do this as an assignment so they can take it home as homework and you could turn your quizzes into really fun games. So Today we are going to do one of our in-class practice games and we're just going to get started. So. Awesome. So, Lindsay, real quick, one quick thing I wanted to add was, first of all, everyone, thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome to this YouTube live game chat. And, Lindsay, what I wanted to add was, obviously, we're showing you an education example, but the use cases for Breshna very diverse. So while we're going to be picking up different use cases every week and kind of showing you what, what are the different ways you can use Breshna, Breshna has been widely used for education around the world. And so that's why we picked up an education example. And not only can teachers make their game, but they can also inspire students to make their own games. We've actually seen the teachers get very excited about giving Breshna as a student assignment so that kids can make their own video games. But today, I love that Lindsay picked up one of my favorite templates, Match Mania. And being a bit of a science geek, I'm very excited about this periodic table elements game. Again, this is a very specific topic, but as you look at it, even if you're not a science teacher trying to teach periodic tables next week, Breshna applies to everyone. So think about all of the different ways and Lindsay, as we're making the game, we can also kind of like, you know, talk to the generic use of the Match Mania template instead of just the periodic table elements. So yeah, let's kick absolutely, it off. Absolutely, absolutely. And just adding on to, to simply the educators, um, like Miriam said, we are across all different things. We have people who are teaching trading. We have people who are using it to market their startups. We have we have so many different things. I actually made a Mother's Day game just for my mom. Because, so all sorts of different um opportunities but one of the cool things as well about Breshna and we'll get started pretty quick um, is that you can do this for all ages we've had people kids as young as four creating their own games and we have all the way up to like higher education who are using this within universities and so it's actually this really awesome way for you to continue to have a very unique and fun and engaging opportunity for students no matter what level it is so there's really no like aging out of this it's just a matter of how you're going to utilize the platform so without further ado, let's get started. I am over here on Breshna.io. I am already signed in. You would come right over here and log in with a simple email and password. Um, I have a shameless plug about our Breshnaverse, which is coming soon in September. So get ready for that. Um, and actually, we're going to come down and you can see all these different amazing templates as we go through. You can use all of these. We will be doing different um, different webinars on to, to show you kind of how to use all of these but Mario's favorite match mania is right here we're just going to click it and it's immediately going to open up our editor so what's really cool about all of this is we've got two kind of sides one we have this this menu on the right side which is really more about the visual so this is going to be your avatar your background the things that they're going to collect the things that are actually very visual on the left side over here we have a lot of text and um, a little bit more of the the linguistic version the linguistic side so i'm going to start on the linguistic side 
and we're going to move back over and end it with the really fun bit. So the first thing you want to start with is your game title. Obviously, we are going to call this periodic fun because we are going to do all sorts of different periodic uh, elements. So periodic fun. And this is interesting. So you need to make tags. Make sure you click enter. So you're going to type in a word or phrase, and then you have to click enter for it to actually uh, register with the computer. So I'll show you. It turns green. I'm going green. It turns pink. Science, periodic table, um, elements, and things like that. So really think about different uh, tags that you want to add to this and click enter after that. We have a category right here. I'm going to put us into health, but you guys, you can see there's so many different options. And this is again, what Miriam was talking about where we have a bunch of different um, options for people, no matter what they're doing. So it's not just education. I can decide if I want to, to collect our player's email. This is a really good way for you guys to know exactly who is playing your games or if you're um, uh, a startup, you can capture email leads. That's always a really good thing. Stuff like that. I'm actually going to leave this off so that everybody can play it without entering their email. And, and you know, that's fine. So I'm going... I can, yeah, go ahead. So should we should we do education for category? I think you did select education. You just said health. Okay, I see it. I'm also watching us on the live game jam. So yeah, you, you selected education. We're both <laughs> Oh, okay, so I actually have a, a, a description already written out here just for sake of time. So because this is an element game, I'm going to use this as the description. The description actually shows up in the beginning as your about section. So this is what's going to tell the player what the whole game is about. I'm saying here elements make everything you know. This game In this game, you'll challenge yourself to catch the elements and uh, to... That's supposed to say match. Hang on. Match the elements. To their properties and then one of the really really cool things about Breshna is you can use this in any language so if you have a right to left language text you can toggle this on and you can use Arabic Hebrew Pashto you know all of these languages that go uh, left to right so you can also utilize that and make these games you know sometimes they're not always made in local languages so we want to make sure everybody can be able to use these for education and and, and all of the other things that we're gonna be doing so I'm going to start with our level one. I'm going to continue really quick just with the uh, verbal bits, the text bits, and then we'll move on and we'll get really fun with this. So this introduces each level. Your introduction will actually pop up before this level shows up. I am going to write a little intro about, again, how everything is made up of elements. Right here, I'm going to give a little bit of extra information here so this will say i'm going to read this from the from my thing so this will say elements make up everything you know party balloons batteries and bananas are all made of different important elements can you match the elements to its real life use if you need help see pages 120 through 124 in chapter five right just making it up but this is a really good way how you can relate your kids back to the text that you've already been teaching I think I missed. This is so cool, Lindsay, because I had uh, was so excited about seeing actual real life things and what elements they're made of. So I'm super, super excited about this. So, I'm really, yeah, it's um, just, right. <laughs> super, <laughs> super fun. Okay, and then I'm also going to get our closing answer in right here. Once again, I've got my own for my own time, but uh, for time's sake, but this is a really good way for you to reiterate information. So I'm actually going to put right here, helium can be found in balloons, lithium in batteries, oxygen in the air we breathe, blah, 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 blah. And then all of these things uh, have like these, you know, different little um, properties. Cases. Yeah, use cases. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. And what's really cool, I think, Lindsay, the way I think about it is intro is almost like introducing the question or the challenge. So you can talk about the topic, but you can also be like, hey, um, I mean, if you're doing like a competition, you can be like the top three winners will like, you know, get a candy at the end of the day or something. And then the conclusion, think of it like that's what appears after the person has played the game. So that's where you can offer encouragement, you can offer reiteration, conclusion, all of that. So I'm, I'm super Super excited about that. Yes. And I think, Lindsay, what you said about putting this in any language, 
that's super powerful. We have teachers and friends in Saudi Arabia making Arabic video games for science and math learning. So Prashna is truly global and you can truly make games in your own language. So whatever text keypad you have, if you have an Arabic keypad, you just simply turn that option on and then you're able to write those languages in there. Just be careful. One thing um, is sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. People sometimes toggle the right to left, but then they still use English. So just be aware of that. Make sure you preview your game and make sure all of the language bits make sense because it will turn it backwards if it's in English. So just be aware of that. But absolutely a good point, Miriam, to use the uh, introduction for like little games or giveaways or prizes. I think that's a really, really great idea. Okay, so we've finished all of the verbal parts of this level. We're going to get to the more fun parts. So over here on this right side, we're going to go into our background. So this is school and science related. We are going to come into all of these different uh, backgrounds that we have. And what's really cool, we're going to search through this to see if we've got some school stuff. But if I decide that I don't really love all these or I want my school specifically to be the background, I can actually take a picture of my school, upload the background here, and then follow these instructions to make sure you can add your file up properly and then go through this, this little process so you can enter the title of the game. Once again, you add keywords, make sure, so I would maybe make this school background, right? And then your privacy settings, you can decide to keep this private if this is something that's a little bit more private for you, or if you want other people to use it, like especially if you have your logos, businesses, if you want other people to use your logos, make this public. I'm not going to oh, upload. And then yes, go ahead. The coolest thing on that upload is actually a lot of teachers are using Prashna where they use artwork made by students. So you take a simple picture of the artwork and you upload that. So literally your student's artwork goes into the game that you're making. And that just that kind of ownership really excites kids. So definitely think about using that feature. I think that is absolutely so sweet. And then the other thing that you can do with that is parents. You don't have to necessarily keep all of that art. You can make games and store them online and have them forever and make them a little more interactive and things like that. It's it's so much fun. There's so many opportunities. It's crazy how we both end up going, oh, and you know what else we could use with Breshna? We could also do. So <laughs> I think that's super fun. Let's go back over to backgrounds and we are just gonna go through and find a school background. Let's see, this looks like school. Um, I'm going to have to click out of this. It's not school. Let's go back. And actually, I am going to search here school backgrounds. Ta-da! And they pop right up. So here, let's look at these. We've got one that's maybe in a, in a cafeteria. We've got full schools here. I'm thinking maybe we do this one because it's a playground. It's really bright. I think this is really nice. And we're going to go from there. Your tiles in Matchmania, this is the actual tile background of the things that are going to be flipped. So whatever color you want those little squares to be as they're flipped, this is how you're going to choose it. I personally actually really love the purple, but you guys have all of these different options to choose colors. Miriam, go ahead. Were you... oh, let's see. Yeah, one quick thing. I mean, I know we just like dove right in, but Matchmania, the big dynamic of the game is that you have these flip tiles and you have a time challenge to flip the tiles and match pairs. So whether it's two plus two and four, whether it's periodic table, table elements and their uses, whether it's country and flags, uh, you know, logos of companies, whatever you want to do. But it's kind of like those really old tile games. I mean, a lot of professional games are very nostalgic. So it's those old tile games where you have a time challenge where you're supposed to flip tiles and then you match the right pair. So that's kind of what the tab match mania is just for those who like joining now. And then what we're doing is picking the color of the flip tile, what, what Lindsay is talking about right yeah. now. I, I agree with you, purple is one of my favorites too. Purple is my favorite, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, and you can see over on the opposite side, this is actually continually uh, purple, right? So if I decided to flip it, it will actually show up and it will tell you what your thing is. 
So moving on to our collectibles, this is where we're going. This is the actual things that you're going to match. This is my personal collectible, which is Paris Hilton, just so you guys know. A little bit of a fan. So <laughs> we are going to start. I'm actually going to take this for Match Mania in particular. I'm actually going to take this over to the other side of the editor. Just because it's a little bit easier for me to be able to link the two versus trying to actually go and do this on the other side. So in this particular instance, this is how I'm going to do it. So we are going to do a four by two. That means there's going to be four different matches. And here I'm actually just going to get rid of all of these so that I can make my own. You might see we have assets that you can upload that you can use or you can add your own custom text. So this is where it gets into like if you want to do two plus two and then the answer is four and that's what you're matching. This is where you would say, OK, custom text and then we would go two plus two. Right, and that would be our thing. We are not doing that, we are doing science today. So we're going to add our asset, which all the way down into education. And here, we're going to, oh no, that's right. Coming in to, what is this? Science, this is the one. Okay, so you can see we have so many different science assets so if you're doing something about anatomy we've got all sorts of different things you can do botany and germs things like that so it's very 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 exciting so we're gonna have one be fluoride which is actually super super fun and our op other option or our match is going to be toothpaste oops excuse me so while you're explaining that, so basically what Lindsay is doing is one of the collectibles, so the first pair is made up of two collectibles. So she's choosing two images. So she's saying she wants fluoride, and then what is used, with, what is fluoride used in, she has toothpaste. So she's putting toothpaste into the other pair, um, which is another acid. So when it says add acid, it's basically images. When it says add custom text, you can add the picture of toothpaste, but you can also write toothpaste if you wanted to. Yes. So that's like something that's that's open. The coolest thing is you can also, I don't know if Lindsay can find toothpaste in the brush and collectibles, but if you can't, you can literally take a picture of a little toothpaste bottle from Google and upload it. And so that will be your own game assets. So Lindsay, which one are we doing? Is it Absolutely. in the game assets? I agree. Are we uploading or are we writing toothpaste? Which one are we doing? Well, I have toothpaste in here somewhere and I can't remember where it is. So we are going to, to switch out fluoride with some of the other ones that I have, which is going to okay, be... Okay, and I'll find toothpaste in the meanwhile for you. Perfect. So why don't you do another element and we'll find some toothpaste. Okay, here. perfect. So we have gold over here. Obviously, this is going to be pretty easy to match. I'm going to add an asset and we're going to go into our gems. Let's go back instead of gems, going into toys, objects. Here we go. Actually, right here, this is a pretty good one. I think I would like something a little bit more gold. Okay, so we've got our gold uh, element matching to gold coins. We're going to move on as Miriam looks to find, see if we can find fluoride. We are going to continue, and let's see if I can find, where is potassium? There it is, potassium right there. And then I don't know, you guys can probably guess what we're going to relate uh, potassium to, but that is a banana, because there's lots of potassium in bananas, as we know. I'm going to add one more or two more continuing on through our science theme we have lithium which is oh, oh you know what let's do oxygen because that's going to be an easy one and we've got i am going to look for a cloud in here so we've got you can use it for clouds smoke you can do all sorts of different things let's see if we can find any through here perfect so oxygen we are going to relate it to i would love to relate it to a rainbow but i think we're just going to do clouds 
I think that makes more sense. And finally, our last one going all the way into science, we have helium should be in here. Um, oh, I this. And if I pass it, let me know. I think we have every single one in here. Oh, hydrogen. Yeah, you know what's really funny? I was just thinking that, Lindsay. It's almost like there's so many, um, you know, basically there's so many assets that it becomes a little bit harder to find them sometimes. But um, we are working on guys um, better tagging so that you can search them. Again, Drashna is only two years old. So sometimes these are the kinds of things that we're working on to make it more efficient and make sure that we have really good search items over here. I am... I, I'm like convinced to this is somewhere in objects, but holy crap, my eyes are like tripping me out. <laughs> um, but maybe something else with like, yeah, we have a lot of metal stuff here. I know you've done gold. Let's do um, lithium and go into our objects and get a, a or technology battery. rather, a battery. Yes. hundred percent. Actually, lithium could be in phones or in Apple watches. Yeah. Lithium's in a lot of things. Look, there's a phone right here. Let's just grab this for time's sake. And yeah, that is one of the very, very cool things about Breshna is that we do aim for diversity in all of our assets, whether that's, you know, cultural diversity or just having a whole bunch of different options. Um, but yes, yeah, so sometimes when we provide all of these different options for you, it does get a little bit confusing. And Miriam is absolutely correct. We are currently working on um, a bunch of different ways to revamp Breshna and just make it that much more better for you. Um, so we have our gold matching to gold, potassium matching to a banana, oxygen matching to the clouds that hold it, and lithium matching to our phone because they are in phone batteries. So, oh, and Lindsay, I'm trying something, and guys, this is like live action. That's the big, best thing about, um, you know, uh, what we're building this, this game jam, it's totally live. So let's see, Lindsay, I just uploaded a toothpaste. I know you have all four, but let's just see if you can see it in the Bold Squad uploads. Um, if there's a toothpaste at the very end, let's see if you can see that, because that just shows that while I was looking for toothpaste, I couldn't really find toothpaste, so I went to Google and basically got a toothpaste icon, and I made it public. So now Lindsay can also find it. Let's see if she can and how fast. Absolutely, it's right here. I'm just trying to decide yeah. which one to get rid of instead of it. But I yeah, know, that's those are really cute though. So I mean, let's keep your pair. Okay. But I do want to say that like toothpaste, if you wanted to, I did upload it. And Lindsay, if you want to show it, I don't know if you already showed it, but it's like it is there on the full squad uploads. These are all the uploads that are from our users. You won't see the best imagery here. It's all, it's the mix of everything because it's what people upload. There is content moderation on Reshnam, so you can't upload anything you want. But um, that's where the toothpaste appears. See, you guys can see it right here. Actually, I kind of awesome. want to leave it there just so that they can see it. Like, yeah. that's, okay, but I have to actually switch this. So first, we have to go back to fluoride, and then we will switch it really fast. Science, science, science. Yeah, we're so fast with the toothpaste. <laughs> We have to, we have to add it now. Okay, now I just have to locate fluoride. There's whole squad upload. This is how nice this is. We're talking. I'm messaging the dev team to be like, "Hey guys, periodic table elements. Let's do better searches." So this is literally like you're giving you how, not just how the game is made, but also how the company is run. So there's that bonus over there. Absolutely. And Miriam, I'm going to ask you, we did have plans to do a level two. Um, would you prefer we just stick with this one for time's sake? Or do you want to go through the whole process of leveling up? What does level two have? Maybe we can talk about level two. Level and two. Actually, yeah. you know what? Level two might be a good idea. Because what I'm going to do is simply have um, the elements and then show the add text bit. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. It's quick. Add level right here. You can see that now select level. I have level one and level two. I can actually decide if I want to, to change the background and the tile color in this second level. 
and that will not affect the first level at all. So you can really customize each level. I personally really like these backgrounds, so we're gonna we're gonna stick we're gonna stick this right in here. So you will have to make sure that you adjust these because the, it does copy your level. So make sure you adjust whatever you need to make it absolutely unique for you. I am going to put in here an atomic number represents the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom and helps identify the element uniquely. If you need to review, check back in your textbook on page 121. So here it is, and we've pasted it in. And then our closing, once they've gotten through all of this, is a big old thing all about how elements with lower atomic numbers tend to be lighter and exist as gases, but that's not always true, and all sorts of different information that they will be able to get at the end. So again, this is one of those reiterations. This is giving more information. You can also do things if you are a business, like calls to action here. This is a really good spot for calls to action. Go here, do this, follow us here, things like that. Really, really good ways to use this. So now we are, once again, we're just using our four by two. I am going to take all of these out and make sure I get the atomic number correctly. And we're going to go back and we're going to add our assets. So once again, we're going down to science. And we are coming in with argon. And we're going to add our custom text because that's 18. That text. Oops. Very cool. Yeah. And again, let's go back down to science. We're gonna grab is neon, add custom text, this 10, and text. And you can see it pops up right here. If you want to edit it, you'll click this little button here and it'll pop back up for you to edit. Two more, almost there. Awesome. And while you're doing that, Lindsay, let me actually the editing part. So one thing that's really cool is once Lindsay has made the game, we're going to press publish, and that's when the game gets generated as a URL link. So the coolest thing is you can send this URL link on WhatsApp, on, on a blog. You can put it on your website. You can embed it. Um, we're going to show you that embed code real quick. But the big idea is that people do not have to have an account to play a brush yes. game. We only need an account to make a Brashna game. So something that's really interesting about Brashna is you can take it wherever you want. It's almost like a YouTube video that, that like you just get a link and you can take it wherever. So there's no app download needed. There's no you know desktop software needed. You the Brashna games go wherever you go and wherever you want to meet your audience. You can put it in your Instagram story, make a post, add the link, and that's your game and everything. So people are using Brashna and taking it to wherever they need their community. Yeah, absolutely. And you can also embed it directly on the website. So on a website. So actually when you click publish as well, you know what, we're going to click publish right now. I'll show you. So we've done before you can click publish, you want to make sure you go through and double check everything. We've got our fun title. We've got our category. We've done a description. We've decided not to do right to left because we are in English. We've got an introduction closing answers. We've chosen all of our assets. We are so good. If you would like, no, you can... Music. I want to put music. Oh my gosh, music. You are absolutely right. I was going to do music before. We some music. Guys, this is again the coolest thing for the musicians out there. Yes. If you want, you can actually upload your own music. You can sing a song, put that in there. You've made a happy birthday game, sing a song, record yourself, upload it. You can upload your own music, your own clips. Just please make sure in terms of use, Anything you're using is your own intellectual property that is on the users um, by the rules of the terms of user Prashna. But yeah, all the music that we have, we have um, around 100 clips for you on the game asset library yourself. Um, Lindsay, if you want to start showing the music so you can actually preview it, play it, you know, see which one you like, and then if you like it, you, you select it. So let, let's see. Let's put it. Well, I'm so sorry we can't do this just because of the yeah. So you guys will have a ton okay. of fun playing with it yourself. Um, I do apologize about that. We are still figuring out this whole process as much as we are. Uh, 
working and founding as Miriam a tech company sometimes we are not the tech people ourselves we just know how to run the company so <laughs> so sometimes yeah, exactly. technology that's the best thing about technology it's always fun so yeah so let's add a few um a music and stuff and then figure it out yeah absolutely and if you decide you don't want any music you can click no music and that's fine too we do want music because music is fun. Music makes things better. And of course, there is also the option for your players to go into settings and um, take the music out themselves. So if they don't want the music for some reason, they can take it off. Um, okay, so we've done level one. We've done level two. I think that's all we're ready for. Are, do you want to say anything before we click publish? No, let's go. Game published successfully. So our game is now live. It's been published. Anyone with the link can play, just like Miriam was saying. So all you would do is copy this URL, paste it into your WhatsApp, into your um, school group, into your whatever. If you've got teachers that are actually doing stuff together, you guys can actually share your editor code and actually allow each other to work on the games themselves. So that's really cool. Editor code is a scary word. It's just the link of oh, your gosh. editor. Like, no coding needed, Brashna is completely zero code. You just share the link of your editor screen rather than the gameplay screen, and anyone can build on your game. Yeah, good yeah. point. Editor code is probably not the best term for that, because there is no so actual code. Like, <laughs> right, I want to see this game. I'm so excited. I am so, so, so excited. This might take just a second, because my computer is also running the streaming... Um, software so this might just take a second and Lindsay, is it okay that we right now um i guess you press play but we at least on the live stream i see the the editor screen i don't see oh it's switching over now oh, okay, okay. <laughs> good good good, good, good. awesome very cool. okay. yeah and this is the cool opportunity soon guys we're actually gonna have on these loading screens some really cool advertisement and showcase opportunities so you can leverage this time for loading to actually showcase some of your own material and everything so that's also coming up in the roadmap but as these games load um the big idea is that people are able to um so sometimes loading takes a long time because it's actually cobbling the game together as we speak so it's not just loading a pre-made game imagine think about it it's fetching all of those assets it's putting all of it together it's putting that music together and obviously for Lindsay, because we're also streaming the loading time is a little bit longer than usual usually it's only around 50 seconds but i think it's taking a little bit longer so we can chat away in that time and, and wait for match mania to reveal i think i already see it um yeah. on I think it's ready to go. And the nice thing is, too, um, most of the time, if you do find that it's taking a while, if you refresh the page, typically it goes, like, kind of right away. Um, so that is a really nice thing. And again, you guys, Brush is only two years old. We are actually currently in the process of doing a whole bunch of different revamp stuff for Breshna. So all of these things are things that we're taking into account. All of these things are going to be um, taken care of, so... Let's go ahead and play. I am going to come in and we're just going to do the easy version. This is our level intro. So that first level, when we did an intro, we said elements make up everything you know. Party balloons, batteries, and bananas, all different made, are made from different important elements. Can you match the elements? And here we go. We are so excited. So once again, this is just going to be four by two, and as it goes on, you can actually, people will be timed to find their, uh, or to complete this level. So you can see right here, I've got, I've only got 90 seconds to complete this. So, we've got a banana, Let's see if I can find potassium. Oh, okay, oxygen. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, so exciting! But, oh, there's potassium. <laughs> Lithium. <laughs> Judy, I'm so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cool. That was awesome. And again, you and guys. This is why I love that purple tag because it pops so much. It just looks beautiful. Let's do level two, Lindsay. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. It does. It looks absolutely lovely. And 
atomic number once again and this is where you know we said if you need help go back to your textbook the nice thing about things like match mania though is it actually teaches you as you go even if you uh, have already been working on this right so if I'm going like 18 and magnesium well that didn't work so clearly magnesium is not 18 10 and 12 well that doesn't work obviously 30 wait actually I think 12 is I think I saw the 12 magnesium the gaming the cool thing about learning through games is actually trial and error games reward failure you know it's like a failure is a part of games so it's okay if you get it wrong because you do it again and again and again and Lindsay there you go congratulations but yeah the whole idea is that you keep doing things again and again so that until you get it right so I think um, match mania is also really good for repetitive learning where you're like oh no that one didn't work and that one didn't work so let me get it right so I love that number but that was such a cool so thing good. And I forgot to to mention this. This is the that about section. So this is where we put the description in there. Um, but yeah, so this is the entire game. And again, like Miriam said, games not only are fun and engaging, but you are willing to do them over and over again. And we all know as educators, that is so incredibly important. And actually is everything. We have some people who are using uh, Brushna games to... Um, teach about company culture and protocols. So even when it comes up to things like that need to be repeated that aren't education, but are educational, you know, this is, it's very, very, very helpful. So this is our game. We've got 18 different templates. We are very, very excited. Miriam, do you have anything to say? Go ahead. No, just that, let's show the main homepage. Uh, if you're not already, I have a bit of a lag, so I, I don't know. Like, I actually don't know what's going on in uh, Lindsay's screen, uh, but I am watching our YouTube live stream. But the um, coolest thing is, like Lindsay's saying, Rushna.io is completely free to use. It is no code, and it's lightning fast. Rushna, the word actually means lightning in the Pashto language, which is my mother tongue. One thing we didn't do, Lindsay, was introduce ourselves. So I am Mariam, for those who don't know us. I'm the founder and CEO of Rushna.io. Lindsay is our chief of staff and community lead, so we're super excited about that. And, um, you know, we're going to be doing these weekly game jams. So we'll come on here for around half an hour, a little bit over, um, and basically make a game every single week on Thursdays at 2 p.m. EST. So make sure you join us. And we're really excited to show you all 18 templates and then keep repeating and keep making new games every time. So if you have suggestions, if you want us to make a game, um, you know, if you just want to want an idea for like how we would tackle a certain topic, throw it our way. We would love to help. Absolutely. That's a great idea, Miriam. And especially like if you want something like if you say I have a business and I would like to do this, can you guys show me an example? We would absolutely love to do that. And actually, just for anybody who's watching a recording, um, you can come all the way down here to the bottom of our website and book a live demo with us. So if you wanted to and have like a little bit more of a personal touch, we're absolutely happy to come on and have a conversation with you and figure some things out. So, yes. 100%. Sorry for not introducing. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Mary. We will get these things right in the, in the future ones. And next time our introduction will be up front. But um, follow us on social media channels. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Rashna Game. That's our handle. Then on LinkedIn, Mariam Nusrat or Gaming Revolution for International Development, which is the name of the company. Either ways, we're all over social media. That's also on the website. Rashna.io, go make your own video games. Lindsay, do you want to wrap us up? Because your voice quality is so much better than mine because Lindsay has awesome mics. But yeah, <laughs> go for it, Lindsay, take it away. Yeah, of course. So just like Miriam said, please follow us. We're mostly Breshna Game on like Instagram, Twitter, things like that. We are at Breshna here on YouTube. So we would love it if you guys would follow us, keep up with us. And just as a quick reminder, as we head off, we have a whole bunch of launches coming up, which is things like our Breshna Blitz, which is an AI text to game engine that will allow you. So instead of just a few minutes, like we did here, it'll allow you to make games in just a few seconds with just like a text prompt or um, a little bit of adjustment. And you can actually take that once it's spat out to you, 
it you can take that into our classic editor so if there's any little tiny adjustments that you really want to do so it's like super super customized you are absolutely able to do that too and then we've also got our brush universe launch where you are actually able to take all these games that you're making for free showcase and monetize them and have your own little carnival stand and it's it's very very exciting we've got a lot of really cool things coming up 2023 has been just absolutely nothing but opportunity and fun so we appreciate every single one of you thank you for being here live thank you for watching our recording um and i think that's it thank you guys so much and we will see you next week at 2 p.m eastern thanks for being game guys bye, -bye.